1993 hard target um 75 percent sure it's a jean-claude van damme movie yes i've been binging on jcvd um there's a sequel that's about 20 year over 20 years later i think but um okay well, let's see how it goes i need some stress relief this is an hour and a half long and hopefully it will relax me with some action as a mindless violence okay several positive things about the movie and among the we're five minutes into the movie and it's been constant action the whole way they've basically been hunting down some guy and for the looks of it he's ex-military it's 1993 so he's going to be a vietnam vet which apparently everybody in america was unless they're a female um the film stars the guy who ended up being in the mummy playing the mummy the brendan fraser one um the biggest name in it john Van Damme wasn't a big big name at this time he was a biggish name he wasn't a big name um lance heinrichson was the bigger name at the time and he stars in this as well he's more famous he's a very lodonic actor He's more famous at this moment for doing the film Aliens, playing the um, robot. Sorry, synthetic life form. And he also had a bit part playing the same thing in Aliens 3, well, very briefly. He also did Terminator, the first movie. He had a bit part in that. And he was also in one of the Predator films as well, I think. There's a handful of people, a half dozen people that popped up in all three franchises, Aliens, Terminator, and Predator. Like, um, oh, fuck was his name? The gap in his teeth. He didn't play Hicks. He played, the guy mistaken for Hicks in Aliens. And he played the guy wearing the leather jacket, you know, is it Wash Day in the first Terminator film? And he played a cop in Predator 2. Anyhow, good actor, brilliant actor, really funny actor. The last movie he did before he died was uh, with Tom Cruise. Ray kept that Groundhog Day, but with aliens. Anyhow, this movie, directed by John, woohoo! And more recent stuff is very woke, but in the 90s, early noughties, he was on his fucking game. He had a really good pace all the way through. So, yeah. I'm not expecting massive, well, any CGI really, but I'm expecting to have a nice, steady paced action movie. Bit of a story, perhaps. Maybe the occasional nipple. Who knows? We can hope. It's a good film to have on as background as well as foreground. It's slow, but it's set in the New Orleans kind of environment with Bayou and that sort of shit. So it's that kind of swamp induced pace. Whenever you get something set around New Orleans, they ignore reality, which is basically everyone's a black drug dealer criminal, which is pretty much what New Orleans is. They go for the, the Hollywood version, which is either vampires, for fuck's sake, or everybody's laid back and relaxed and mainly white. There's no fucking white people in New Orleans. There hasn't been for decades. But um, the movie is a slow pace, but it's a good movie. It's not something you're going to fall asleep watching, but it is a slow paced movie. The action, it's. The problem with martial arts action movies is that they don't have very many action people in it they have stuntmen they have actors and then you've got Jean-Claude Van Damme who is a professional kickboxer 
he's won titles, actual titles, not just made up bullshit like he got on most Wikipedia sites. So when he's actually going up against these actors and stuntmen, he's not allowed to actually kick them. He's not allowed to actually punch them or kick a bottle in the face. Whereas other movies, he does do contact um, fight scenes. This one, he doesn't. It shows. The fight scenes, they're kind of slow, kind of. But another thing that John Woo does, um, I think he did, not 100% sure, but I think he did Mission Impossible 2. Not 100% sure, but it's very much his style. Whereby you get into the action, 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 and then he slows it down and does a slow-mo, which is kind of defeats the whole point of the action, unless you're fucking Neo and Keanu Reeves. But some of the slow-mo bits are actually quite nice. So you walk, he's walking into the guy's pad, it's all desolate, and like slow motion, a birdie flutters across the room. But um, I'm sorry I'm going to be slagging it off. I'm not. It's a good movie. I like Jean-Claude Van Damme. I'm not gay. Okay, there was that one scene in Time Cop where he does the splits on the kitchen counter. Boogie, boogie, boogie. You know he's going to shave his ass. But no, I'm not gay. It's just, it's, it's a good movie. It's slow paced. It's still from the era where people have only just had home entertainment video form. It's 1993. Most of the people on the planet never heard of VHS. VHS existed before DVDs, before MP4s and MP3s. People only started to get movies in their own house that they can go and rent a movie in the late 1980s. And even then, to buy a VHS player, you're still talking, to put it in relativistic terms, for the a person on welfare, um, unemployment back in the late 1980s would have been £27 per week if you're doing a scheme. So you're talking £25 a week. To buy a VHS player, you're talking £500 per, per device. So that's two. So you're talking a good six months saving to actually go and buy one. And then you'd have to clean the fucking thing every six weeks, which I actually made money doing because I, I like cleaning stuff. You ask because the it reads the audio tape, the videotape, helically at an angle, and the big ass metal drums that actually read the tape. All the grease from the tape gets attracted to it and the hair gets attracted to it and turns it to shit. So what you have to do is get yourself a cotton bud, a bit of um, wood alcohol and just give it a quick clean. But it does mean taking it apart. Anyhow, back to the movie. Her target. Good movie. Drop it on down. Not gay, but you know, he's got nice hair. One reason why the film is feeling slow and unpaced is because I had the modern sound settings turned on. 
I had my Dolby Atmos, my Smart Sound, my AVL. That was all turned on. This movie is 30 years old nearly. It's 29 years old. And the fucker hasn't aged that much. Git. If you turn off all the modern sound settings and just have it in a basic, without any of your special effects sound settings, the film is a lot better. This is how the film is meant to be listened to. Not with all the friggin' sound settings turned on. Because if you have all these things turned on, your Dolby Atmos for your mode, your digital virtual X, your sound output, all this bollocks, all that does is amplify stuff that they add in modern movies. This is not a modern movie. So only all this modern shit only applies to movies made in the past 15 years. Anything older, turn it all off, otherwise the film's just gonna sound boring and slow faced. Yeah, good movie. Good action. Good god. Good movie. Absolutely zero tip, which is a shame. But still, it doesn't need it. There's no romance, there's no sexuality whatsoever, there's no gonna shag him for the sure sake of it. It is just a nice story, good bit of action. Fun movie. Good movie. The nearest she came to any kind of romance was when she thinks he's trying to get her to like relax so he can kiss her. Go, trust me, you trust me, relax. Just close your eyes, you relax. While she's grabbing a rattlesnake from behind her throat. So um, yeah, good movie. The sequel, I'm not looking forward to because it's 2016, I think. So we're talking decades. Um, I don't know if he's in the sequel, it wouldn't surprise me, the fucker is still pretty active.